This YCN segment is brought to you by Echo Communications, a digitally integrated commercial printer. This Friday night finals matchup was played in front of a big crowd in Barrie, Vermont. The game started off with a quick bucket for Mount Abraham as their junior Jalen Cook drove to the hoop. Soon after, Fairhaven's freshman Riley Kaluti tied things up, grabbing her own block shot and scoring. And her teammate junior Kaylee Brown nailed a three. However, Mount Abe's senior Emma LaRose answered with her own long ball and senior Emma Carter started to put in multiple buckets as the Eagles went up 12 to seven after eight minutes. The third seed began the second quarter with a jumper from senior Abby Mansfield, but near disaster struck when Carter rolled her ankle and had to come out of the game. She did, however, return before the break. Both teams struggled to score over the next seven minutes. Strong defense, turnovers, and missed shots dominated until halftime, as there was only three total points scored in the second quarter. The score was 15-7 Mount Abraham going into the locker room. Fairhaven came out of the break with a quick two points from senior Jessica Brewster. And Brown started to go off with multiple buckets. But every time the Slater scored, the Eagles Eagles had an answer. Cook and Mansfield kept up their offensive pressure with more points. And Carter, who was being shut down by Fairhaven's defense, managed to draw a foul and hit two free throws. The Slaters cut into the lead, but were still trailing by five heading into the fourth quarter. Carter again was fouled and went two for two from the line to begin the final eight minutes. But it took another five minutes for either team to score again. Finally, a pass from LaRose found Carter down low, and she extended her team's lead to nine. However, a last attempt effort from Fairhaven put the team on an impressive 8-1 run. And all of a sudden, the Slaters were down by just two, with about 60 seconds left. Then Mount Abraham's LaRose navigated through Fairhaven's full court pressure, and made a perfect deep pass to Cook, who drove and scored. It was Cook again with a huge block on the Slater's following possession. Her teammate, senior Emma Radler, was then intentionally fouled. She made two huge free throws to extend the lead to six. And on Fairhaven's last real attempt to get back in the game, Abby Mansfield tipped a pass and recorded the steal that sealed the win. Cook and LaRose added free throws, and as the last few seconds ticked away, Mount Abraham had won the Division II state title with a final score of 33-25. to Emma Carter and Jalen Cook led the Eagles with nine points each, while Radler added six. After the game, we caught up with Mount Abe's longtime head coach, Connie LaRose, to get her take on the win. Perseverance was a big piece of it tonight. Uh, you know, when Carter went down with that ankle in the first half, we could have been in big trouble, and she certainly was, you know, a lot less than her normal effective self, but she hung in there. She gave us another, you know, steady ball handler out there when we needed it. A lot of kids that play a lot of minutes, and they all came through tonight. We knew it was going to come down to defense in the end. I couldn't have asked for much more from them tonight. They played it hard with tired legs in the you know that end of the third quarter into the fourth and they still were getting the job done they had Fairhaven rattled I think most of the evening I think uh, obviously Emma Carter you know she's been our go-to all year Emma LaRose uh, for ball handling you know we we just looked to her so much to have to do so much out there but you know, every one of those kids that was out there, Abby Mansfield came up with some huge steals tonight. Jalen Cook hit a big bucket, you know, finally got some free throws to fall late in the game. Emma Radler, uh, especially in that first half, I felt she did a great job getting out against their three-point shooters. You know, they all did it together. Well, this team, back when they were fourth, fifth, sixth graders, I was coaching them in AAU. My granddaughter is one of them. And so these eight seniors, I haven't been able to coach them since they hit middle school, but always around uh, you know all the uh, team camps the uh, summer leagues for those eight seniors and myself this is huge again we're graduating eight seniors but i've got a great core group of juniors and through the season they've seen a lot of minutes and as i tell them you're getting the best practice in the world every single day because you're going against the five starters and you know we're, we're gonna have to regroup and have a little different look but 
We'll be okay. Both Mount Abraham and Fairhaven finished the season with overall records of 20 and 4. The 33 points scored was the lowest ever for a D2 title winner in Vermont's history, so it was clear the Eagles' defense won the game. Both teams will lose crucial seniors to graduation, but the programs have deep rosters that will continue to perform during future seasons. <laughs>